Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on analysis of bars using stiffness matrix method. Let us read the question and draw the diagram. A stepped bar 150 mm long has its 50 mm of diameter 25 mm. The rest 100 mm bar is of diameter 15 mm. The bigger end is fixed and on the free end 20 kN axial compressive load is applied. Find the stress in each section using the stiffness matrix method. Take the Young's modulus E is equal to 200 GPa. We know that giga is 10 power 9, Pascal is Newton per meter square. We have to convert Newton per meter square into kilo Newton per millimeter square. We know that 1 meter is equal to 1000 millimeter. But here we have square. So 1000 into 1000, 10 power 9 upon 1000 into 1000. We will get 10 power 3. We know that 10 power 3 is kilo. So we have converted the Young's modulus E into kilo Newton per millimeter square. Before making the analysis, let us make the coordinates. In this bar, there are three sections AA, BB, and CC. The end AA is fixed, so there will be no displacement. In BB and CC, there will be displacements. Let us keep the first coordinate in the section BB and the second coordinate in the section CC because in these two sections only there will be displacement. The formula to find the displacements is delta matrix is equal to K matrix inverse into P matrix. We know that in this analysis there are two coordinates. So inside the delta matrix and P matrix we will have two values. The size of the stiffness matrix will be 2 cross 2. That means inside the matrix we will have two rows and two columns. Inside the delta matrix we will have the displacements delta B and delta C. In this formula, first let us find the P matrix. Inside the P matrix, we will have the forces in the coordinates. In the first coordinate, there is no load, so P1 will be 0. In the second coordinate, we have a load 20 kN. So for P2, we have to apply 20. The load 20 is acting towards the left side. So we have to apply it as negative. In this formula, now we are going to find the stiffness matrix. Before that, we have to find the stiffness element matrix for all of the bars. In the previous video, we have formed the element stiffness matrix. First, let us make the element stiffness matrix in the bar AABB. Let us calculate AE upon L. In the bar AABB, we have diameter 25 mm. We know the formula for the area of a circle pi d square upon 4. Here d is 25. The Young's modulus E is 200, L is 50. Finally, we are getting 1963.49. Let us apply that. Then let us multiply this inside the matrix. When we do that, we will get this. In the element stiffness matrix, the first row and the first column represents the displacement in AA. The second row and the second column represents the displacement in BB. 
we don't have our coordinate in AA. We have the first coordinate in BB. So let us mark the second row and the second column as 1, 1. Let us strike out the unwanted row and column. In AA, we don't have the coordinate. So let us strike out the first row and the first column. We have only one element remaining, that is K11. Now let us make the element stiffness matrix in the bar BB. C, C. Let us find AE upon L. Here the diameter is 15. So the area is pi into 15 square by 4. E is 200. L is 100. After the calculation, we are getting 353.43. Let us apply that and then multiply with this matrix so that we will get this matrix. In the matrix, the first row and the first column represents BB in which we have the first coordinate. So let us denote the first row and the first column as 1. The second row and the second column represent CC in which we have the second coordinate. So let us denote the second row and the second column as 2, 2. Now let us take out the stiffness matrix elements. This is K11, this is K12, this is K21, this is K22 from AB and from BC. We have found the stiffness matrix elements. Now using them, let us make the stiffness matrix. For K11, we have two values. We have to add both of them. After adding, we are getting these. Then let us apply K12, K21 and finally K22. In this formula, we have found K and P. Let us apply both of them. For this matrix, we have to find the inverse. We can use the calculator and get the inverse. If you do not know how to find the inverse in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. I have used the calculator and got the inverse. After multiplying these two matrices, we are getting delta B and delta C. Now we are going to find the stresses. Using this formula, we can find the stresses. First, let us find the stress in the bar AB. Young's modulus is 200. In AB, the length is 50. We know that in AA, the displacement is 0. Let us apply that. In B, we have found delta B. Let us apply that. Then, let us multiply these two matrices. After multiplying, we will get this. Then, let us multiply this with 4. When we do that, we will get this. For sigma AB, we will get a negative value. That means it is compressive. Let us remove K and then multiply with 1000. So finally for sigma AB, we are getting 40.74 Newton per millimeter square. Now let us find the stress for the bar BC. Length of BC is 100. Let us apply that. Then let us apply the values of delta B and delta C. We can multiply these two matrices. After multiplying, we are getting this. When we multiply this with the 2, we will get this. We will get a negative value. That means the stress is compressive. We can remove K and then multiply with 1000. Finally, for sigma BC, we are getting 113 point. 19 Newton per millimeter square. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.